good morning everyone welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and myself k prakash babu so k prakash babu having almost uh, so 12 years not at all almost 14 years uh, of experience in various technologies and i am working as a trainer for java okay so python java python and logic based programming courses in our durga soft okay currently working as a trainer uh, what is this course sir okay so at early morning you have started one python batch what is this course sir here this course is nothing but core and advanced python core and advanced python programming so this is nothing but the title of this course so in this course we are going to cover both the core python as well as advanced python what is the timings of this particular batch every day at 11 am from monday to okay monday to saturday every day at 11 am we will have these classes every day at 11 am we have classes so what is the duration of this course okay the duration of the course is nothing but one month but instead of one month i can say 30 classes 30 classes so excluding the demo we are going to cover 30 classes within these 30 classes the entire python syllabus we are going to finish okay then sir what about these demos sir these demo classes only on two days probably today and tomorrow okay wednesday so thursday maybe friday but i can't give guarantee that i will give uh, in in tomorrow's session so the demos will be there on these uh, two days or three days then from monday the regular class is going to be started so meanwhile you have to register if you are interested for this course right so next thing okay next thing so what is the fees for this batch sir the fees for this batch is nothing but rupees 7000 indian rupees 7000 sir if i want to register for this so to whom we need to contact sir you you, you have to contact to this number just one minute sir 92462 so 12143 so to this number you have to contact if you want to register for this course okay next and after that um, sir what benefits you are going to get once if you register for this course so very simple you are going to get running notes running notes uh, on daily basis so after completion of the class i am going to share these running notes for you people on the daily basis so that you can refer and you can have a clear idea about what we discussed on that particular class and uh, sir for communication purpose for communication purpose we will create uh, some groups communication groups will be there there you can post your doubts and you can clarify your doubts if you want you can put a voice message also or when you are practicing a program if you are struck anywhere you can take a pic of that particular uh, screen and share it in our group or personally so we will have a communication whatever doubts you have okay that benefit you can expect from my side then sir these videos sir will be having 7 months access 7 months access sir these recorded videos is not downloadable sir you have to watch these videos up to 7 months so downloading option is not there for this videos that is nothing but what you need to observe then sir we will have quizzes will be there okay quiz will be there and even sir frequently asked interview questions also will be there and mainly we are going to concentrate on coding questions almost you can expect 100 plus programs so to solve for this we are giving one tool called hacker rank tool there you have to practice the coding okay anyway tomorrow i will show you 
how you can able to practice these programs in that hacker rank link so these are nothing but the benefits what you are going to get but after completion of the course you are going to get sir course completion course completion certificate also okay this is nothing but the benefits what you are going to get from this course sir sir what is the syllabus just a brief description about the syllabus i want to explain so this syllabus contains sir first part in the first part we are going to talk about um, okay sir python fundamentals that is something like a scripting scripting programming we are going to concentrate on scripting programming so in python we have different different scenarios are there in that we are going to cover scripting level programming first sir something like i can say it is nothing but core python sir okay something like i can say it is nothing but core python better i will write it as core python okay then sir next in the second part in the second part we are going to talk about functional programming functional programming in python see functions are very very important things in our programming sir suppose if i if i am calculating uh, addition of two numbers program sir simply we will read two numbers from the user we will calculate addition and we will print the result sir this program is okay for one or two times execution suppose if you are getting n number of values from the user every time repeatedly i am doing this job better to create a separate function so whenever you are sending the value you can call that function that function will take care of each and everything so functional oriented not only in python in every programming language it is highly recommended sir okay so that's why in python highest importance is given for this functional programming after this we are going to talk about object oriented programming also uh, some people may use the word called oops of course for security purpose this approach is very very important sir so how you are going to protect the data okay so how you are going to achieve reusability concept is it possible to execute uh, parallelly some other jobs okay so polymorphism encapsulation abstraction code reusability inheritance n number of things we are going to cover as a part of this object oriented programming then after completion of this we are going to talk about the data storage areas sir which is very very important dsa data data storage areas sir what is mean by better i will remove this uh, shortcut because some people may feel so uh, <laughs> data structures and algorithms that's why sir what is this data storage areas so definitely in our programming whatever data you are reading from the user and whatever data you are going to produce it is a temporary just if anyone is asking can you please write a program to perform addition of two numbers consider i prepared one program then if i execute this program today maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow if you are asking yesterday what input i have given sir it is not in our hand to retrieve because our programs we have decided designed in such a way that only for testing purpose right generally if you are writing first program for performing addition operation what we are going to do sir sir very simple we are going to test that application by providing some inputs like uh, we will give some uh, inputs like 2 uh, and 3 so our expected answer is 5 whether my program is also given 5 or not we will cross check so if it is working properly we will close that application what is the need of storing that information but there are some situations where compulsory you have to store the data okay for that data storage area sir which is very very important there we are going to discuss about the files and databases the database tool which i am using here is nothing but mysql okay if you want to just have a look once i am going to show you one small program also so here we are going to use mysql program sir mysql tool <clears throat>
yeah you can see here we have one small table is there so have you observed here what is this table sir so this table contains hall ticket number name subject one marks subject two marks subject three marks subject four marks subject five marks subject six marks total marks what is the grade of the student what is the result sir from the outside if you give any hall ticket number it will print this entire information in a tabular format similarly if you want to write data to the database maybe this data i have written almost three weeks back sir but it is there in my permanent hard disk so for that we can go for this data storage areas what is the advantage of this is nothing but the user is giving inputs up to this the user is not calculating total the user is not calculating grade and he is not deciding result my program will decide and it will append the data into database okay so this type of a small mini project also we are going to cover in the form of this particular python so we will write a python program to read this selected information from the user and you can calculate these remaining activities and the total by combining you can write it into the database this kind of facility we have anyway we are going to discuss in our regular session only so for the term uh, which thing we have to use sir files and database okay this is nothing but what we have then part five sir here we are going to talk about advanced python in the advanced python you will get multi-threading concepts exception handling regular expressions assertions logging like this we have uh, n number of things are there so all these things we will cover as a part of this advanced python and here we are going to cover more than 100 programs as i said we are going to use a hacker rank link it is very very important sir because learning the programming language is okay but simultaneously practicing the programs is also very very important so some people suppose if i am giving array write a program to perform subtraction of two numbers if i am giving assignment like that then definitely some students will practice some students may not but if i given an app for you that means if i am giving a link for you so you have to open that link there will be a box there you have to type the program and you need to click one button automatically it will take your program your program is correct or not it will make a judgment that it will give to you so even the staff verification all these things are not required so you can verify by your own self verification so that no one is going to see your code so like that you can practice if you are stuck in anywhere you can send that particular screenshot i will guide you okay so that maximum in this complete course uh, you can expect more than 100 programs where your coding skills will be improved sir then sir part seven sir once if the class is completed we are going to see mcqs related to that program that particular uh, chapter maybe suppose if i am talking about input and output statements sir if i want to print this particular format to the end user i have four options are there among this which is the correct option like that we will post a question here and you can answer okay so which will create a kind of uh, 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 what you can say you you, you you will be in active position sir once if the class is completed if you cover these mcqs okay so let us start from tomorrow itself then sir we are going to cover a small small mini projects sir we are not going to cover a big projects small mini projects so that sir you can correlate how your database is working how your python program is going to helpful so how the outline softwares are working like that you will get some ideas then sir even we are going to cover some modules there are some predefined modules are there like a calendar module is there okay time and date modules are there okay even we have some kind of uh, um, array module is there okay sir string module is there okay next and after that random module is there like this we have n number of modules are there maximum we will cover those modules and in the part 10 
so anyway at finally we are going to cover some interview questions here you can expect 100 interview questions every question with answers we are going to provide okay every question with answer we are going to provide so if you want let me show you that questions one minute because already some questions are prepared yeah you can see here <clears throat> like this we will have interview questions okay sir when xr operations will return true okay sir string is mutable or immutable justify your answer what functions are used to convert one type of data into another type of data sir how to get keys from dictionaries how to access class methods so what is the difference between method and constructor sir how to disable garbage collection manually okay sir how to call super class method then list out some examples for syntax errors okay how to throw our own exception sir next if we want to manipulate excel file which module support you required okay sir what is the name of the default current thread okay slash d means what so if we want to connect with mysql database which module is required what is the difference between exception handling and assertions like this almost here we have 165 questions are there with answers we are going to have okay this is nothing but what is the syllabus that we are going to cover if you want in detail syllabus just have a look once this is nothing but in detail syllabus what we have sir you can see introduction to programming okay second chapter introduction to python programming okay sir python fundamentals okay next and after that data structures in python okay input output statements sir next and after that operators next and after that control flow statements string data structure list data structure tuple data structure set data structure dictionary data structure i told right functional programming and then predefined modules mysql database connectivity sir pdbc python database connectivity how to work with files sir object oriented programming then regular expressions web scrapping how to read email ids from the website if you give any email uh, website name i will extract all the email ids present in that particular website we have a python program for that of course it is an executable code only okay so next and after that how you can able to handle runtime errors that runtime errors handling is called as exception handling so assertions means what how you can able to handle these assertions so what is mean by multi-threading how you can work with multi-threading logging means what how you can work with log files and some example pattern programs how to print stars all these things we are going to cover so this is nothing but the syllabus what we are going to cover as a part of this particular python programming course sir please confirm up to this if you are having any doubts please let me know so that we will clarify all your doubts and then we will continue yes sir i am giving permission for you to speak if anyone wants to communicate with me use chat window preferably otherwise you can you can unmute and you can speak yes any doubts yeah the timings of the class already i mentioned 11 o'clock sir 11 a.m every day monday to maximum saturday otherwise monday to friday every day 11 to 12 30 or 12 45 like this one and a half hour session will be there every day not one hour session sir one and a half hour session will be there okay yes any other doubts sir please yes if you have any doubts please have you any session for selenium with python no as of now just a core and advanced python only we are dealing there is any class in the morning time no sir morning we have full stack like that so the class will be only this is morning session only right early morning we don't have any session sir okay before eight no no 
uh, as of now there is no evening session maybe after two weeks or three weeks you can expect yeah matter of 30 days right i think you can adjust your timings yeah sir any other doubts sir yes everyone clear up to this yes right okay let me dive into the syllabus i mean uh, not syllabus so on very first day i can't uh, explain the syllabus but i will i will use one word sir maybe sir till the end of our course i am going to stick on for this word so you can put any number of quotations or any number of stars for that what is that word is nothing but sir python is very 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 easy programming language okay i can you guarantee for that if anyone is asking you can you can tell this particular word python is a very very easy programming language sir prerequisite for this course is nothing even if you don't know anything about programming also no problem you can come and you can join definitely you are going to learn something sir okay definitely you are going to learn something so such a type of confident you can able to get so python is nothing but it is a very very easy programming language maybe you will get that feeling after covering some basic programs so in a, in general in general what regular sessions we are going to do first we will give introduction then we will take some programming format then we will type the program sir for me to explain the java program format itself one demo session is required but for python directly we can go for programs that much easiness you can expect sir i will i will execute some five programs for you to understand okay maybe you can enjoy yeah please prasad go ahead prasad please post it on chat window so let me take the first example program sir i want to print what is the first program you have learned in the programming sir printing hello world right sir print hello world message okay message on the screen on the console okay on the screen or i can use the word called console sir how you can able to print sir very simple steps we have so first step is nothing but you have to type the python program of course this was an edit plus editor where you can type the programs automatically sir here i am going to select a new which programming language program you are doing sir my python is not there here just i am clicking on others sir we have the different types of languages are there okay in that i am going to select python and once if you click okay an empty skeleton got opened i told already in python we can we can write the programs in any manner you can write scripting programs you can write object oriented programs sir please wait i will clarify your doubt please wait so we can write a scripting program sir we can write functional oriented anything is possible in python sir okay that's why the structure is not there for python suppose if you say java then a default structure is there okay like this we have now first how to type that particular message print hello world so just we have a message is there a, par, a, a, a function is there called print you have to print hello okay so hello just we have to print hello world that's all sir what is our next requirement you have to save this code so just i am clicking on save where you need to save the code sir i am going to save it in d drive i am going to save it in d drive 
any name you can give let me take sample dot py dot py is the extension for python program sir okay sir what is the note here sir every python program okay our file have an extension dot py dot py okay now my python program is ready how you can able to execute this python program is also very very important sir for this we have to open this command prompt of course we have various ides are there okay ide means what integrated development environment we have pycharm ide is there we have uh, spider ide is there we have jupyter notebook is there we have anaconda navigator is there n number of ides are there atom editor is there so we have n number of things are there but all these ides are going to provide some kind of uh, auto completion tools for us that means if any line is having error it will guide you but at a learning stage never recommended to go for these ides once if you are good at programming then you can choose that's why sir i am shifting to command prompt from here we will execute the program sir where we have saved the file in d drive but where we are in c drive better to shift from c drive to d drive then to execute python program we have one command is there sir we can execute so python script by using command like sir you can take a py space file name dot py you can use this command to execute your python program sir py space what is the file name that you have given sample dot py right but once if you press enter automatically that python script is going to execute and we got output saying hello world this is the way how you can able to execute a simple python program i think first program is very clear for you sir write a python program to find a sir factorial of a number 5 so i have a number is there called 5 for this number i want to print factorial sir how you can able to do that yes sir i have a predefined method is there okay a predefined method is there no need to calculate a factorial by your own generally in c language in java and in python we are going to write program but in this particular python no need to write manually sir here predefined support is there okay sir directly you can print math dot so there is a function is there called factorial just you can pass that number but sir this math library is not available in your program it is available in some folder in the form of library you have to make a link to that library sir how you can able to make a link import math so we are importing math module into your program you are importing math module into your program on that math module we are calling factorial function so it will take an integer value from the user and what happens it will calculate a factorial sir sir let me check really whether it is working or not sir how to run the program same command py space sample dot py let us execute sir is the 5 factorial is 120 or not yes okay this is nothing but what we have sir i think with this you got some idea how easy python is okay of course not only by these two programs sir instructions are in very easy format will be there sir please confirm up to this do you have any doubts everyone yes prasad pandas numpy library matplotlib library is not going to be covered in this course those are related to the data science related course so for the data science these libraries are required that will be covered in data science not here okay yeah prasad yeah it is numpy matplotlib spelling mistakes right sir any doubts up to this friends please confirm
clear everyone only few people are giving response what about remaining sir if you want to learn python you should be in very active from the day one yes everyone please confirm any doubts up to this right sir now let me go for the next one okay sir how easy python so to show you i am taking one more example one more example what is this example is nothing but write a python program sir to check to check whether the given number whether the given number is even or odd sir we have to check whether the given number is even or odd sir how you are going to take the decision whether it is even or odd for example consider the user is supplying one number called n is equal to 5 sir is it the even number or odd number please respond is it even number or odd number i don't know you have to tell please confirm is it even number or odd number yes we know it is the odd number but sir as a student or as a human being we know some rules and regulations but how you can able to instruct the python to decide whether it is even number or odd number very simple sir we have to divide this 5 with 2 sir if it is divisible that means sir 2 to 2 are 4 what is the remainder that we got 1 that means it is not even number it is odd number suppose if you take n is equal to 6 is the 6 is divisible by 2 yes sir 2 to 3 are 6 sir remainder is 0 then it is even number so if you divide any number with percentage 2 normal division means we will get these values percentage division means we will get remainders sir if n percentage 2 is double equal to 0 that means if the remainder is 0 then it is even number if it is false then it is odd number this is the condition what we have sir first we have to divide the number with percentage 2 if it is equal to 0 then we are going to return sir true which will print even number otherwise we are going to print odd number this is nothing but what we have sir let us execute this code how simply i am going to write just observe within one line i am going to take okay sir input is a function which is used to read an input from the user which is going to read an input from the user sir i am converting that input into integer because my python will always consider the given data in the form of a string my python will consider the given data in the form of string that's why sir i am converting that string into integer format i am converting that string into integer format sir then i am going to store it in a variable called n okay fine then i will print the message saying even number when if n percentage 2 is equal to 0 otherwise i am printing odd number sir is it human readable format only yes so i will print the message on the console saying even number if uh, this condition is uh, satisfied if the condition is uh, not satisfied i am printing odd number sir how beautiful this program is if you want uh, how many times we are using n only one time right you can substitute this value also okay don't worry all these things we will cover in our upcoming sessions but just i am giving a code that how easily we can write a single line code now let us run the program sir py space sample dot py my program is waiting for input if i am giving 5 it will print odd number if i am giving 6 it will print even number if i am giving 100 it will print even number if i am giving 101 it will print odd number so based on the data which you are supplying automatically it is going to decide 
so this kind of nature is is nothing but how easily we can write in python of course this operator is called as conditional operator we will cover in operators section about this right sir any doubts up to this friends please confirm any doubts up to this friends please confirm right sir sir now the next thing what we have here is uh, example number 4 sir i want to write a python program to generate to generate otp with four digit sir four digit otp i want okay i want to generate a four digit otp sir if you take the same program in other programming languages we have to write n number of instructions but in python only two lines sir for that there is one inbuilt module is there with name random there is one inbuilt module is there with name random sir you can use this random then sir i am going to take print of random dot okay random dot there is one function is there called rand int which will generate a random integer rand int which will generate a random integer you can pass the values if you take 0,9 it will pass it will it will generate single digit otp if you take 10 and then 99 two digit otp sir 100 and 399 three digit otp sir 1000 and 349s then it will generate a four digit otp because it is a otp every time it is going to generate a new values random values sir first time 9211 is the otp next time 4171 like this only the otps are sent to our mobile okay the script for that in python is nothing but only two digit code but if you take other programming languages we have to write n number of lines to generate this otp of course last program sir write a python program to print to print sir current month calendar current month calendar i want to print current month calendar any program is there for that yes we have calendar module is there in this calendar module sir we have month function is there if you are passing to let us see what will happen sir uh, one minute uh, month comma 2022 year also we have to print one minute i think so first year we have to pass and then month sir it is going to generate february month calendar sir i want a june month calendar this is nothing but june month calendar what we have okay sir how easily we can able to write program to generate this one sir very simple right yes so this is nothing but uh, how predefined method support which is available in python sir do you have any doubts up to this please confirm friends do you have any doubts up to this please confirm friends everyone yes so this is nothing but so what we have how easy we can say python is sir anyway tomorrow we are going to continue sir tomorrow's content is nothing but i am going to talk about introduction to programming maybe some people are new to the programming that's why sir what is mean by language why we need to go for language so what is mean by programming language okay next and after that what are the different types of uh, programming languages available so what is mean by translator what is mean by compiler what is mean by interpreter what is the difference between okay compiler and interpreter okay sir next and after that uh, a program a program example for compiler and interpreter we will discuss and then i will start python also in tomorrow's session okay yeah sir thank you so remaining things we will continue tomorrow okay